today i am going to start exercise 11.1 chapter perimeter and area see that question number 1 in this question it is given to us the length and the breadth of a rectangular piece of land are 500 meter and 300 meter respectively find its area second the cost of the land if 1 meter square of the land cost rupees 10000 okay in the first part we need to calculate area which is given here 500 meter and 300 meter what is it 500 meter is length and breadth is 300 meter okay so we know that the area of rectangle is length multiplied by breadth so we will multiply this 500 into 300 how you will multiply 5 3 the 15 and total number zeros are 4 so right four zeros like this so the answer is 150000 meter square now after that it is given we need to calculate the cost of the land and it is given 1 meter square of the land cost rupees 10000 so what you will do here you will like uh, multiply 150000 with 10000 it is also very easy to multiply write 15 and here we have four zeros write four zeros and here we have also four zeros write four zeros so this will be your answer okay now question number 2 find the area of square park whose perimeter is 320 meter find the area of square park whose perimeter is 320 meter so we know that the area of square is equals to what side into side so basically in this question we don't have side but what we have we have here perimeter so what is the perimeter of square we have the perimeter of square is 4 into side so by using this formula we can calculate here side Yes or no? Obviously, yes. So, insert three twenty in place of perimeter, then four multiply by side. Okay, we know that side equals to what? We will write three twenty upon four. This will come to the denominator of this number. Okay. Four at the thirty-two, so we have given the side is equals to eighty meter. Now we have side, which is eighty meter. Then we need to calculate area. Area is equals to what? Side into side. That means eighty into eighty, which is equals to eighty into sixty-four zero zero meter square, or you can say square. The perimeter is equal to three twenty meter. So we need to calculate here length of the side of the park, so which is three twenty upon four, eighty meter. So area is equal to length of the side of park is equal to eighty square, which is six four zero zero square meter. Okay. Now next question. Find the breadth of a rectangular plot of land. If its area is four forty and the length is twenty two meter, also find its perimeter. That is also very simple question. We need to calculate the breadth of a rectangular plot, and area is given four forty. So what is area? Area of rectangle will be equals to length into breadth. We need to calculate breadth. So breadth equals to what? Area upon length, and area is four forty. Then what is the measure of breadth? The measure of breadth is twenty two. So put the value in place of area. We will write four forty, and in place of length, we will write twenty two. Twenty two on the twenty two, and twenty two to the forty four. So the answer is what? Twenty meter square. Twenty meter is the breadth. 
after calculating the breadth we need to calculate perimeter so the perimeter of rectangle is what 2 multiplied by length plus breadth yes or no so 2 multiply length is 22 and breadth is 20 2 multiply by 20 plus 22 is equals to 42 which is equals to 84 meter okay see how you have to write in your copy hope you understand this area is given length into breadth which is equals to 440 so put the value of length in place of length 22 multiply by breadth is equals to 440 so breadth equals to 440 upon 22 is equals to 20 meter i already told you how to calculate then perimeter 2 multiply length plus breadth equals to 2 bring bracket 22 plus 20 which is equals to 84 meter okay which is equals to 84 meter now next question question number four the perimeter of a rectangular sheet is 100 centimeter if the length is 35 centimeter find its breadth here we have given what the perimeter of rectangular sheet perimeter is given 100 meter centimeter sorry and the length is given 35 what we need to calculate we need to calculate its breadth and area so what is the formula of perimeter equals to 2 multiplied by l plus breadth so what we will do we will insert the values in this formula okay so in place of perimeter we will write 100 then upon 2 we will write here okay then length plus breadth length is 35 and here we need to calculate breadth so 50 is equals to 35 plus b 50 minus 35 is equals to b so b equals to 15 centimeter okay so in this manner we will calculate the length or breadth of rectangle when we have given perimeter okay so breadth is 15 centimeter now what we need to calculate we need to calculate its area so area of rectangle is equals to length into breadth what is length length is given to us 35 centimeter and breadth is given we have calculated 15 multiply this 15 5 is 75 7 carry 15 3 is 45 45 plus 7 equals to 52 525 square centimeter check answer in okay in this manner you have to write in your copy if you have doubt how why i have written 2 here so this 2 will come in the denominator place here okay in the next step now question number 5 the area of a square park is the same as of a area of rectangle park if the side of a square park is 60 meter and the length of the rectangular park is 90 meter find the breadth of a rectangular park this is also very easy and simple it is given to us the area area is equal whose area square park area and rectangular park area is equal so we know that what is the area of square area of square is side into side and rectangle area is length into breadth both are equal so i have written in equals in equation okay now if the side of a square is 60 meter so in place of side we will write here 60 
and the length of a rectal park is 90 we need to calculate its breadth so what will be equals b equals to we will write here 60 multiply by 60 upon 90 okay now cancel 3 20 is a 60 3 3 is a 9 and 3 2 is a 6 which is equals to 40 okay let's see how you have to write now next question number six a wire is in the shape of rectangle its length is 40 centimeter and breadth is 22 centimeter if the same wire is rebent in the shape of a square there is a wire which is in rectangle shape it is bent in rectangle shape then I have opened this wire which will be continue in this form length then afterward I rebent it and make a square what will the measure of each side of a square we need to calculate and also what area of the square they acquired so two things we have to calculate okay so in this question the main thing is suppose this is a wire okay I made this wire in the form of rectangle then the same wire I formed square so the length of the wire is same suppose I have taken the length of the wire is 100 so 100 meter of 100 wire is used here for making rectangle and the same 100 meter wire is used to make a square yes or no obviously yes the length of the wire is 100 meter so the same length of the wire is used to form rectangle and the same length of the wire is used to form square so what is the length so the here we use the word perimeter yes or no we use the word perimeter for calculating the length of the outer portion or outer measurement okay so here it is given the same wire is bent into the rectangle and square so basically in this question perimeter of rectangle is equals to perimeter of square yes or no so the perimeter of rectangle is 2 multiply l plus b which is equals to 4 into side now put the value in this 2 multiply length is given 40 and breadth is 22 and we need to calculate here side okay solve this what you will get here 2 multiply by 62 and this 4 will come here at denominator place after solving this we will get here side 2 1 2 2 2 4 2 3 is 6 2 1 2 so the side of a square is 31 centimeter yes or no try to calculate by own self and then tell me either the answer is 31 or not okay then afterward after getting the side of a square we need to calculate its area side I have calculated 31 centimeter now the area is equals to what 31 into 31 why because area of square is side into side so 31 square into 31 square what you will get here multiply 31 to 31 961 961 is the area of what 
961 is the area of square. Now calculate the area of rectangle. Length into breadth 40 into 22, which is equal to 880 centimeter. Who encloses more area? So here square wins. Square encloses more area. So by this question, what we get here? In this question we get here if the perimeter of rectangle and square are equal so in that condition the area of square is greater than the area of rectangle so for this I suggest you one thing if you are going to construct your home with the same material and with the same cost you can build up more area in square plot as compared to rectangular plot okay now see how you have to write in your copy perimeter of rectangle is equal to perimeter of square as i told you 2 multiply length plus breadth is the perimeter of rectangle and 4 into side is the perimeter of square then put the value and you will get here the side 31 centimeter square so area of rectangle is length into breadth which is equals to 14 to 22 which is 880 centimeter square Whereas if we talk about the area of square side into side 31 31 which is 961 centimeter square the square shaped wire enclosed more area now question number seven the perimeter of rectangle is 130 centimeter if the breadth of the rectangle is 30 centimeter find its length also find the area of a rectangle this kind of question I already solved uh, above better in question number four see with the same method you can calculate this question by own self okay so I am going to st start question number eight a door of a length two meter and breadth one meter is fitted in a wall you can see here this picture there is a door which is fitted in this wall so uh, its length is 2 meter what is the length of the door is 2 meter and the breadth of the door is 1 meter so what is will be the area of door area is equal to 2 into 1 equals to 2 meter square and the length of the wall is given 4.5 and breadth is 3.6 so multiply this and you will get the answer 16.2 meter square so find the cost of whitewashing the wall we need to calculate the area of wall so with 16.2 meter square we will subtract 2 meter by this we will get here 14.2 meter square which after that we have to calculate the rate of white uh, cost of whitewashing so you will multiply by 20 so what you will get here 284 rupees 284 okay this is a very simple question now I am going to start next ex next exercise which is based on the area of parallelogram as well as triangle so already in the notes I told you what is the area of parallelogram as well as triangle so area of parallelogram is base into height and the area of triangle is what half the area of parallelogram which is half into base into height so in all these questions what you need to do first you have to write the what is base and what is height so the dotted lines are height or you can say altitude and this is base okay so here 4 into 7 28 3 5 15 and 2.5 into 3.5 you multiply here like this you have to calculate area in all these questions 
वन मोर थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू इन सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन वेर एवर यू विल सी दिस बॉक्स नाइन्टी डिग्री ओके सपोज दिस बॉक्स फॉल ऑन दिस लाइन एंड दिस बॉक्स फॉल्स इन दिस लाइन दिस बॉक्स इज फॉल इन दिस लाइन एंड दिस बॉक्स फॉल्स ऑन दिस लाइन एंड दिस बॉक्स इज फॉल इन दिस लाइन सो द लाइन वेयर दीज बॉक्सेज आर फॉलिंग और वेयर अल्टीट्यूड आर ड्रॉन आर बेस दीज लाइन्स आर बेस ओके वी कैन नॉट वी कैन नॉट ऑलवेज कंसिडर दिस वन एज बेस ओके हाउ विल कंसिडर बेस विल कंसिडर बेस वेयर द एल्टीट्यूड फॉर्म्स और लाइज ओके अंडरस्टैंड so in this question you have to write in your copy